So we move on. It's Rebecca Scott. It's Gabby Ortiz. The CCW Global Fighting Championship is on the line. Right out the gate, man, we had arm drags, a Russian leg sweep, and drop kicks, a nice little DDT by RJS. Short arm clothesline that would make Jake the Snake Roberts blush by the RJS. Nice little leg drop sequence, a high knee neckbreaker combo from Gabby Ortiz. Throat fuss and a nice sling blade by RJS. Really working over one another. You know, RJS has got that jujitsu background there. She's working submissions really ground and pound. Gabby Ortiz with her size and her stature, but can also move very fluidly, like I mentioned in the previous match, where we can have nice crisp maneuvers like that combo that I just mentioned there, the neck breaker and the high knee. She knows how to take you down. She knows how to use her strength and her power, but also at the same time, she can go at you in very different ways. And she comes from all sides, much like our friend here, RJS, showing up and showing out, being the CCW Global Fighting Champion. And the finish comes where we haven't seen this. So the X Factor, Gabby Ortiz hits an RJS. RJS kicks out. Rebecca kicks out. And she is just shocked, Gabby Ortiz, because she's been winning with this very maneuver time and time over and over again. So with that being said, the finishing sequence comes where the arm bar is locked in by Rebecca J. Scott, and Rebecca Scott is still your CCW Global Fighting Champion. So Mini Ronda, a.k.a. RJS, is still the champion. Afterwards, she is met by Sarah Leon. Sarah Leon and her have a stare down. RJS attacks with a headbutt and a nice little choke. And then Nikki Duke makes the save. Comes out there, breaks it up, hits a nice little stratisfaction on Rebecca J. Scott there. And then a moonsault Lita-esque, great Muda-esque, right to RJS. Nikki Duke wants her rematch. Sarah Leone wants a match. Combustible elements a very hit scene. The scene is really sizzling, if you will, in the CCW Global Fighting Championship division. Two future matchups, a rematch and a fresh match like Sarah Leone. Sign me up, folks. Then we go to the back and we hear from Nikki Duke. She said, I said it last time. I want that championship. Exit stage left. Simple and to the point. Give me round two of Nikki Duke and RJS. Maybe I just want to go out and see who my opponent was. It doesn't matter who it is. I'm going to show up. I'm going to show up. I'm Rebecca Scott. I'm RJS. So now here we are. Rebecca Scott, Gabby Ortiz, the CCW Global Fighting Championship is on the line to homegrown talents and CCW Capital Championship Wrestling. We got Rebecca Scott coming back from injury, and ever since she's coming back from injury, she's been hitting on all cylinders. She's become the inaugural Global Fighting Championship. Gabby Ortiz has been on a roll. She's defeated the Esthetician. She has defeated La Chica Clara Carreras. She's been all up in the mix. She has showcased, while she is has the gift of gab, but also at the same time, she could talk the talk and she could walk the walk. So we have so many increments here of two veterans, two of the top caliber talents in CCW. Who's going to come out on top with the Global Fighting Championship? Will we have Gabby Ortiz become the second Global Fighting Championship? Or will the reign of RJS continue on and on until the break of dawn? Rebecca Scott is not letting go of that title easily. So between Rebecca Scott and Gabby Ortiz, it is surely going to be a monumental bout for all the CCW fans. The over one year reign of the Renegade Twins against the goons of the Scenic City, Lizzie and Peyton Blair, Tornado Tag, they're both in the ring. This is what it needed to be. It was just brawl right out the gate. These two have no love loss for one another. It was just, oh my God, this was the Renegade's revenge. Everybody's fighting to the outside. Officials are coming out there. Nice little double STO maneuver by the Renegade Twins onto the goons of the scenic city the best way i can describe this is just chaos it's what you would expect from a tornado tag team matchup all women are in the ring at once these two do not like each other you could cut the tension with the knife the finish comes where as they're about to put down excuse me lizzie blair we see vita von star come out and hits robin renegade with the belt and then the magic killer to robin one two three the reign is over, over one year with the CCW Tag Team Championships. The goons of the Scenic City, Lizzie and Peyton Blair, are your new CCW Tag Team Champions, which congratulations to the goons. Vita Von Star coming out, man, and look at a more, add more gold to the Awakening. Ugh, I feel like evolution. Take me back to Armageddon 2003. There's one, one piece of gold that they need to retain and obtain, man. We're going to get to that in a second. But congratulations to the goons. 
The Renegade Twins, which I'll get into more here as we progress, but the way I describe it is this. The Goons are focused. They were ready to go in there. They're winning the tag team championships. They're going in there to make themselves known. They, From where they were to where they are now, we see the progression and succession. You all saw what I did there. The progression and succession of the Goons, Lizzie and Peyton Blair, into where we are now to the tag team championships. The road is right here. It's levels upon levels upon levels upon levels. They hit the top level. They hit the top mark. They're on another level like Black Street. And they showed up and they showed out and they won the tag team championships. The Renegade Twins before this, they're confident. They're cocky. They got the swag. We all know this about Robin and Charlotte. But they're going to Disneyland. They're placating. They're talking. Hey, you know we're going to win. They're at Disneyland. It's the happiest place on earth. It's the happiest show on earth. But in this particular case, it was not a happy moment for the Renegade Twins. We'll get to that in a second, folks. We hear from Christina Marie, and oh, 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 she is not pit, she's not happy. CCW management is BS. I'm still taking. I'm still taking the fact that I've done away with everything. The BS needs to stop. Everybody's sabotaging me. Everybody's taking everything away from me. You feel the conviction in Christina Marie, and with the light of every event, as we're recording this show, as this show, when this show goes out, y'all will see this. CCW management with the actions of what Christina Marie did. She's fired. Contract is terminated. Let go. Out. Get out the door. Leave. Get out. It's the end of you and me, JoJo style. Christina Marie is no longer with CCW, but also at the time of this recording, folks, Ultraviolet has come out saying, it's my time for payback. She's got the black eye. Her face is all fakakated. To use the Italian word, it's fakakated. And she is a black guy. She wants revenge on Christina Marie. Reinstate Christina Marie. We need the rubber match. We need to have a definitive and decisive winner between Christina Marie and Ultraviolet. Will we see that match happen? It's all up to CCW management because there's already the hashtags. You've seen it, CW, CCW Nation. It's justice for Christina Marie. Justice for the courageous one. Justice will be served. She's out for justice like Steven Seagal. It's Christina Marie. It's Ultraviolet. Make a part three happen. <clears throat> why we're fighting for, why we're getting a shot. It's Rebecca Scott defending the championship against Nikki Duke. The global fighting championship is on the line. Woo! This started last month at Misery. Amazing match with Zeta Steel. Rebecca Scott still is a champ. Nikki Duke comes out, wants to take her on at payback. Here we are, the social media exchange. Start on Instagram, Rebecca Scott calling Nikki Duke a Kmart Barbie. Then we had... <laughs> The Twitter exchange where Nikki Duke said good morning to everyone except for Rebecca Scott. And Rebecca Scott wrote back, it's okay. Your dad made sure I had an exceptional morning. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my damn. They go in ham. I feel like Dame drops right now. Then it didn't stop there because we saw photos of Rebecca Scott with Nikki Duke's dad. Uh, this has taken a life of its own. It is on a whole nother level, and these two are going to go to war at CCW's payback, baby. Nikki Duke is looking for some payback for what Rebecca Scott said. My goodness. Uh, and Nikki Duke replied with, all I heard is that she thinks I'm pretty. Let me tell you something right here. If this was a video game, Rebecca Scott would be blazing, much like Def Jam Vendetta and Jeff Jam Fight for New York. If this was NBA Ballers and NBA Ballers Phenom, she would be on fire. And all you need to do is bring down the house. And she burned that motherfucker like your name is Lisa Left Eye Lopez. Folks, Rebecca Scott, RJS, showing up and showing out. The Conor McGregor of CCW against the newcomer Nikki Duke has such a strength, prowess to her, athleticism galore. This is a matchup for CCW ages. I'm going down the history. It's probably one of the most monumental and explosive bouts in CCW's history. It's Rebecca Scott. It's Nikki Duke. The Global Fighting Championship is on the line. Rebecca Scott is making it go out. That, that no Nobody's going to take her. She's going out in a blaze of glory. Nobody's going to take that championship for her. She worked so damn hard. Then you have the newcomer, Nikki Duke, who's ready to watch everything crumble at Rebecca Scott's wayside and become the new Global Fighting Champion. And then they got Gabby Ortiz or Clara Carreras in their rearview mirror. It's CCW, it's storytelling, it's professional wrestling, folks. It's the spirit of competition.